Hey, mental health warriors. It's Deandre Marie, and this is Mental Health Mondays. Today, I'm talking about isolating. I feel isolation and self-isolation is something we do as a society at large, and I definitely feel like the pandemic made it easier to isolate for the past two and a half years. It's actually a detriment to our mental health because we as human beings are not even hardwired to be alone or to be isolated. We need to be connected. So the nerd in me did do some research and I found some reasons why people isolate. A few of them are depression and anxiety, fear of embarrassment, not feeling understood or different from the people around you, feeling worthless or doubting yourself. I know for me, the moments where I've self-isolated were as a result of feeling misunderstood or rejected by people or communities that I tried to be a part of and build with. And so when I, I would just go into hiding and I'm one of those people who like I have to unfollow people and make them unfollow me because I feel like I failed or I feel inadequate. And if I'm being honest, I don't want people to see that side of me because most people believe that I have it all together and know how to manage every situation or mental health situation. And I don't, by the way. <laughs> By self-isolating, I wouldn't even tell my closest friends some of the things that were going on with me or affecting me just because I felt like I had to handle everything on my own. Or I felt like I had to put up with everything on my own. And if I couldn't put up with everything on my own, then I was weak or I wasn't resilient. And that's not true. I think as hard as it is to start reaching out to people and being real with your support system about what you really need and not trying to be the strong friend all the time, it definitely helps. In my opinion, that's how community is really able to be formed and built because you're not able to have it all, all the time. We're not even designed to have it all together all the time by ourselves. We we need people and need to have people in our lives. Y'all know I'm a spiritual shorty and there are multiple scriptures that talk about the importance of friendship and community. There's one that even comes to mind about two being better than one because if one person falls, there's someone there to help the other up. So since reaching out to my support system more, I have healthier communication in my relationships. The people I love reach out more and check in on me to remind me how amazing I am when I'm not feeling myself. Fighting against isolation has been a huge game changer that has not only affected my overall mood and perspective positively, but helps me build more intentional and meaningful connections. And so I'm just hoping that this can help people who are used to being isolated, self-isolating, or are going ghost when times get tough. I encourage all of us to be honest with ourselves when we start to slip into isolation. The last Mental Health Mondays is about self-check-in, so feel free to go back and watch that video. Mental Health Warriors, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment with a tip on how you've overcome isolation or self-isolating. I put some resources in the, in the description to help you get started on your mental health journey. Share this video with other mental health warriors who may need it. Let's take this week to come out of our shells, y'all, and let's get into this community. I challenge us to connect with people who love us and journal about those experiences. As always, I wish you love and light.